we see so many people going, oh, Gen Z is so privileged, oh, Gen Z doesn't work hard enough, Gen Z has everything so easy, Gen Z is too cool for us, Gen Z has a new language. This, this film, this is Gen Z, stressed out. Sabki lagi padi hai, fir bhi sab saath mein thoda kuch jod jar ke karne ki koshish kar rahe hai. This is honestly one of the more mature looks I have seen into the generation. Hi, I am Pratiksha Mishra and you are listening to my review of Kho Gai Hum Kaha. Kho Gai Hum Kaha is the debut feature of director and I hope I am pronouncing this right, Arjun Varen Singh. And this story essentially revolves around three people. One is Imad Ali played by Siddhan Chaturvedi, Neil Parera played by Adarsh Gaurav and Ahana Singh played by Ananya Pandey. In Tino Ki Zindagi Me, we see how social media is affecting them, how they use social media, just how their persona on social media and real life differs, how their story goes forward, how their interactions with each other and the people around them work. Bas yehi hai film mein. But the film is just so sensitive. There are so many films we see which are so over the top and they work because their genre is the same and their okay, story we are expecting kar rahe but this film is actually just so honest and real. It's so deep rooted in realism that even though the characters are not relatable, you will get something to relate to this film. Mein relate karne ke liye. And why aren't they relatable? Come on, even like the person who has the least amount of money in this film is living in Bandra, I assume. So, it doesn't mean relatable zyada for a lot of people living in this city. But it does view the Gen Z or the digital generation with a more nuanced lens. Whenever we see Gen Z, for example, in cinema very often, it's just them saying words like slay and yas queen and just, I don't know, living these extravagant lives, which is not true for a lot of people. I mean, they're not going to be able to afford a bed ka rent from the house. So where will they party so much extravagant? So that's not really like very real. There's still at least something to the stories that you can look at and be like, yes, haha, I do that. One thing that adds to this realism is the dialogue writing. Well, their conversations are very realistic. It actually was a little uncanny because movie on karne se pehle, I was talking to my editor and we were having a conversation very similar to what the characters were having on screen in the next minute. And it's just, it's nice. It's refreshing to see someone actually care and write dialogues that reflect the generation that they're talking about. When we talk about social media, ki baat karte, it's essentially a lot of it is just advertising. You're presenting something to an audience that is viewing you and you want them to like it. So of course, aspiration plays a big role. Whenever say we're following someone on social media, oftentimes it's because we want to see them or they want to wear clothes or they want to live their lifestyle. One thing is say Ahana. Ahana's life does seem great, like she has a great job, she has an MBA, but she also has a life partner who she's been with for over three years and it looks like a very stable relationship. But still, Eventually, for very personal reasons, she enters this kind of aspirational idea where she wants to look like someone else. She wants to present another image to society through social media. Now, how that becomes harmful, how that affects her self-image, all of that you'll see in the film. And on the other hand, Imad hai, jiska manager usko bola hai ki, bhai, tu stand-up comic hai, please ek viral content kar de, kuch hatke kar de, to fir hamei stand-up special mil jayega. But he is also in that kind of mindset, like a lot of people, you know, like that job we met dialogue, he's like, kyu ho jau mein viral, mujhe nahi ho na viral. We see how virality, if that's a word, has started to just dictate our actions and that's not great because a lot of good genuine art doesn't have to get its worth from being viral. But chalo, that's a whole other long discussion that you can have perhaps with your friends or yourself. Then we also see how the film very smartly includes the fact that all three of these characters met in boarding school, right? So their socio-economic background is not the same. A lot of Adarsh Gaurav's character, Neil's rage comes from this kind of difference. He comes from a middle class family, but he has bigger aspirations. He wants a bigger life. We see that this aspiration hai, how it affects him, how it affects his relationships, especially with his parents. We also see how this rage kind of comes out on strangers for no reasons online. This is a very interesting look ki there is social media which he wants to use to be seen, to be popular or why social media gives him say the anonymity to just be mean to strangers on the internet for no reason. I really like the way Kho Gai Ham Kaha looks into the idea of a troll, right? And in that vein also how it looks into the fabric of what social media is. School mein bar bar social media boon or bane, boon or bane pe speech de de ke hamari halat kharab ho gaye. Par agar is movie ko enter karte, it would honestly be like a winning essay. Adarsh Gaurav does a phenomenal job. Wo jo ek simmering rage hai and just these slight changes and nuances in his expressions are brilliant. 
एक सीन में वेरी हैज लाइक दिस ऑलमोस्ट एक्यूजेटरी काइंड ऑफ लुक इन अदरवाइज सीमिंगली इनोक्यूस नॉड एट सम वन एल्स सो गुड एंड दिस पार्ट वेर हिज स्माइल फॉल्स ड्यूरिंग अ स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी सेशन एंड लेटर ही एक्चुअली बिकम्स वेरी वेरी एंग्री ऑल दीज लिल डिटेल्स दैट ही पुट्स इन टू हिज परफॉर्मेंस आर द रीजन दैट ही इज ऑनेस्टली वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट एक्टर्स ऑफ दिस जनरेशन सिद्धांत चतुर्वेदी ने ऐसे रोल्स पहले भी किए हैं एंड ह्योर आई थिंक इवन दो ही पुट्स अप अ ग्रेट परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ पर्सन जिसने यू नो दीवार खड़ी कर दी अपने चारों तरफ एंड डजेंट वॉन्ट टू बी वनरेबल The dialogue doesn't help a lot because he's supposed to be a comic and it's just not funny. And you see, the last minute, this very effective sequence loses some of its effect. It's very well written, but its that setup is not so good as a comedian. As a comedian, for example, Hannah Gatsby's Nanette is haunting. It's sad, but it's also funny, and that's why it works. Here, it's not so good. Ananya Pandey honestly is in her career best performance. As Ahana, just the vulnerability that she showcases, a very contrast to say her roommate Imad, is so well done that you are almost you want to protect her. Not in a like oh I'm a savior kind of way, but in a just yelling through the screen, don't pick up the phone. Boy, ये red flag है, वो red flag है. There's also Kalki Kekla in a role in this film, but she gets the shorter end of the stick. ये जो Zoya cinematic universe है. Uh, including Kalki Kekla is just ठीक है Kalki enters a main character's role और फिर उसकी life में existential crisis सत्यानाश सब होने लग जाता है happens here also in a very adorable kind of self reflective way but the dialogues are just a little preachy इस film में everything feels like it is being neatly packaged with a pretty little bow even though it's dealing with some very serious themes from hacking to someone stalking a woman inside her house All of those things do crop up in the film, but उसके real life consequences हमें पता ही नहीं चलते हैं because again it's too neat to actually address them. For instance, when a man goes and beats up another for essentially violating a woman's privacy, the film doesn't touch upon how often times in real life this leads to violence escalating against the woman itself. Maybe if not then, then later. पर ये इस फिल्म की फैब्रिक में एंटर नहीं करता है सो इट्स प्रॉब्लम दैट लाइक इवन इन द एंड व्हेन दैट दैट काइंड ऑफ समेशन गोइंग ऑन ऑफ न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशंस इज जस्ट एक्सपोजिशन इज जस्ट टेलिंग यू समथिंग दैट द फिल्म हैज ऑलरेडी बीन टेलिंग यू इट फील्स लाइक द फिल्म इज नॉट ट्रस्टिंग इट्स ऑडियंस टू बी स्मार्ट इनफ टू अंडरस्टैंड द वेरी बेसिक मैसेजिंग दैट्स देयर सो इट टेक्स अवे अ लॉट फ्रॉम द फिल्म जस्ट द लास्ट सीक्वेंस बिफोर आई साइन ऑफ द टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द फिल्म आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मुझे ये जो एक कूल हेजी काइंड ऑफ टोन है वो बहुत ज्यादा पसंद है आई नो इट माई not be everyone's cup of tea some of you i absolutely hate how the film looks i love it it just it looks like it has a social media filter on it in most places and i love that dop tanay satam has done a fabulous job kuch kuch frames to i had to pause and look at just to marvel at the composition and the color the editor nitin baid has also done a very fabulous job especially film ki starting sequence mein which is just so thoughtful and so charming and so unserious but at the same time so rooted in how social media montages should actually work technically this film is almost perfect including the direction by the way even the music sounds like something i've already heard before but i don't think that's true if it is i'll come and tell you later the songs are all ear worms all of them are stuck in my head and i'm very excited to listen to them again on the way back home but at the end of the day kho gaye hum kahan is sincere and it is earnest and it is actually sure a film very much targeted to gen z but its messaging is timely for all of us all of its flaws can get a little overshadowed by just how nice and warm and in a way introspective you might feel after you watch that film and that is why my rating for kho gaye hum kahan is 3.5 stars out of 5